Thanks for watching. I'm Ernest with Upfix. Make sure to like and subscribe. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Now we're going to answer some of the most popular questions we have. In this video, particularly, we're going to be talking about uh, Mazda TCMs, transmission computer modules. We get quite a few different kinds of TCMs. Some come in, you know, used condition. Some come in better condition. For those that haven't seen what some of our previous videos. We have one video how to actually access it, what it looks like, where it's located. Another video we have is other commonly asked questions. But today we're going to be talking about what kind of TCMs we get, we see, uh, some of the ones that we see that are tampered. Now these are from different vehicles. Uh, some of these come, so this one right here as you can see, uh, is somebody had already tried to strip or remove all the silicone uh, here. If you can see the uh, silicone up closely. Um, is all removed. Now we don't recommend doing this when you actually have it uh, due to being if you're trying to remove this with tweezers you can accidentally take off any one of these tiny components um, and damage other stuff on the circuit board um, and also because the silicone itself protects from moisture, oil, any kind of liquids, water, etc. Um, you know when, when we actually go inside we do a very precise cutout of what areas need to be repaired um, so we do see these and even if we have these that we that come in that come this you know heavily tampered uh, we'll put our own little black pad that seals it off from any kind of outside contaminants so these are could still be repairable but we just don't recommend exposing or removing all the silicone the other kind of tampered units that we get are as you can see on this one it's got this pretty heavy black um, permanent epoxy on there now this could be from maybe somebody else tried to repair it, somebody themselves and thought this was a good idea just to cover it up all in a permanent epoxy. Um, so that's the kind of tampered units we see. If we're not able to repair it, we'll definitely email you, let you know that there's something that we come across. Um, another important factor that you want to also keep in mind is when you're removing the, um, the locking mechanism on the plug, you got these two little ears that you see on the sides. Um, a lot of times what happens is the clip is not fully disengaged, the locking mechanism. And when you try to pry out that plug, um, it'll actually break these connectors. Now, one of the downsides of having one of these tabs broken off on the side is when you're trying to secure that plug on top, it'll actually slide off eventually. So you want to make sure that, that as the clip is disengaging, the plug will simultaneously start moving out. And you, it'll be a white connector on the top. And especially when you're reinstalling, it'll go back that same way. You want to again simultaneously pull on that white tab connector and then let the plug just slide in real easy over the harness connector here. This, this will fix any kind of hard shifting. If you have any um, transmission codes, uh, you definitely want to pull those and make sure to let us know what codes you're having exactly. Uh, the check engine light and the automatic transmission AT light, which is red, it'll, they'll both probably pop up. And so when you scan the, scan, uh, the TCM with a scanner, You'll probably see those codes and just, um, you know, it could be a P0773, could be a no communication U0101 or U0100. And those are the kind of codes that are related to the TCM. But for the most part, the transmission computer module is highly suspect to be the top reason why you're having hard shift issues and why you have check engine light and the AT light. We recommend, as always, to mount it to the brake lines, not back in the transmission. And the reason being is because First of all, the transmission computer module is mounted right on top of the transmission and the vibration eventually causes it to overheat and cold solder joints happen. Uh, putting it, mounting it to the brake lines eliminates the heat and the vibration and you should notice an immediate change for the better when you're driving your vehicle. How long does it take to actually uh, get to the TCM to remove it and uh, to reinstall it? Shouldn't take you more than 30 to 40 minutes if you take your time with it. Uh, reinstallation, it's going to be even faster. If you were to buy a new TCM from the dealership, first of all, a lot of dealerships don't even have these parts in stock. They have to special order them. When you buy one from dealership, it can run you anywhere from $900 to $1,200. We've seen some pretty outrageous prices when they're selling them brand new. We advertise these repairs for $199. That's a fraction of the cost, and it's your original TCM that can be rebuilt. And another thing is, is that we always program and update them to the latest firmware update. And because it's your original one, you won't have any uh, compatibility issues when you're reinstalling the car. So yeah, let us know what you think of the video. If you have any suggestions, leave it in the comments below. 
Uh, you can find us on YouTube, uh, Facebook, and TikTok, and Instagram. So smash that like button, and we'll see you next time.